Women have ruined gyms for men. Hidden cameras, accusations of sexual harassment with zero proof, appearing on a viral TikTok as a creep, women thirst trapping by wearing revealing clothes for attention and calling the police when they receive attention. Waiting for a woman who's taking a ridiculous amount of time to finish her set. These are just a few of the many reasons why 60% of men have said enough is enough and boycotted gyms altogether. It's a mass exodus of men that's causing gyms to go bankrupt rapidly. Men make up 54% of the people in your average gym. And that's not even considering the powerlifting and strength training gyms where men make up more than 80%. And this amount of men leaving gyms is making a massive dent in the bottom line that's causing gyms to close. Instead, men are increasingly choosing to build home gyms or do calisthenics at the park. They're going elsewhere. And it's all because women have infiltrated the last acceptable men's space in Western society and ruined it. Men are weak. They skip leg day because they can't handle the pain. We carry a human for nine months. We get cramps every single month. So we still manage to train legs two to three times a week. Be a man. Train like a woman. <coughs> Honestly, it continues to amaze me that women can't go and do their own thing. They can't build their own spaces and prioritize being really good in their own way. They have to constantly get involved in men's things and try to outmen the men at being men. Feminism deep down believes that femininity is a weakness. They'll never admit that, but it's what they believe. They repeatedly say that women are strong, but when women want to act like women, they can't take it. They corral women into suits and offices to get them to beat men in their own games. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to JRBDWD, who said, The moment someone wants an open relationship, that relationship is over. Trust this advice, guys. You don't want to find out the hard way. Please, don't forget to reach out to us by email and claim your $5. As usual, guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me. So don't forget to leave a comment, and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too, as it helps a lot. Now back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. Men used to have spaces where masculinity was celebrated. Our grandfathers would sit bourbon and shoot the shit with the guys while sitting in a barber's chair. It was a time-honored tradition where men would bond with each other. Back in the 40s, there were exclusive men's clubs that had a strict membership policy. There were also gentlemen's clubs, cigar lounges, and sports clubs. You don't have to go back very far to find spaces and places where masculinity was celebrated, where being a man was nothing to be ashamed of. A place where you could connect with other men and feel a sense of brotherhood. And over the years, these places came under attack by women who couldn't allow men to have nice things. They had to be more inclusive which in translation meant that they didn't want men to be men anymore. They literally couldn't stand the idea of men being happy without them. It was considered too threatening. So these places started to close en masse to cater to the demands of the new religion of wokeism which is a bunch of confused women redefining what it means to be a man and imposing that definition on society. And you know what happened? Men started realizing they couldn't be men in those places anymore, so they left. And women, who fought so hard to push equality in those spaces, never went there. Can you believe that? Women campaigned for spaces to be more inclusive, and they never had any intention of spending a dollar to support them. It's the same with women's sports. The fat, 
angry feminists who are pushing the hardest for women's sports are the ones who'd never watch sports. They choose to project anger, outrage, and victimhood because it gives them a sense of status. But they'll never spend a dollar. They'll watch Kim Kardashian instead, while men's sports waste half their revenue propping up a failing women's league. And no, it's not because of systemic misogyny. It's because... Why are you always dragging us into this shit? I saw a woman a couple months back, professional soccer player, right? She goes on to ESPN or one of these sports channels, and she starts bitching, going like, I don't understand, how come female athletes don't make as much as male professional athletes? Right? And all of these men had to sit there and act like they didn't know what the answer was. <laughs> they had to sit there like dumbfounded, like, oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, why is that? Uh, that is a conundrum. I have, I have no idea. Literally, I'm sitting at home screaming at the TV because you don't sell any fucking tickets. <laughs> Nobody is going to women's soccer games. You're playing in a 20,000 seat arena. 1,500 people show up. That's not a good night. The promoter lost his fucking ass on that gig. But even when men's spaces began closing like crazy, there was one space that struggled through against all odds. The gym. A place of sweat and iron. Religion and traditional values have crumbled in the West, but the gym became the church. It used to be a place where masculine qualities like strength, resilience, and physical excellence were celebrated. A place where no matter how shitty you felt, you could always load up the bar and a dude would spot you. During a time when men are struggling with loneliness and men's spaces have been killed by feminism, there was always a chance of finding a sense of brotherhood in a gym. Well, not anymore. Because this year, they decided to ruin this too. All for victim points, validation, attention, and internet clout. Women need attention and validation from men. They can't be happy without it. The same women in their early 20s complaining about thirsty guys will be the same women having an identity crisis when they hit the wall. Attention is that important. This is why they wear makeup. This is why they dress in tight revealing clothing. This is why they post thirst trap content on their Instagram profiles. I miss the days when narcissism was a mental disorder instead of a common personality trait. Doing this for validation is not something they'll admit. You'll hear some nonsense like, I do it to feel good, or I wear the things I like for me, which is the most basic, unsophisticated answer you could possibly imagine. Validation for their reproductive potential is important to them. Men need this too, but it's different. Men need to know they're competent, capable, and respected. Women need to feel desirable. That's the difference. And this is why women started going to gyms not necessarily to get in shape, but for validation and attention. They'll never admit this, but we all know what's going on. It wasn't too bad, but then a horrible trend on TikTok emerged where one woman filmed herself training and freaked out about a guy looking in her direction. You've probably seen this video before. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. It still amazes me how disrespectful she is in this video. Forget men and women. This is just straight up toxic behavior from any human being. 
Then she said this exaggeratedly disgusted response as if he was committing a cardinal sin by glancing towards her. Don't get me wrong, staring like a teenager who's never seen a pair of jugs before is immature behavior. It shows a lack of sexual discipline if you're a man. But in an environment like a gym, glancing is inevitable. There's nothing society can do to rewire millions of years of evolution. It isn't going to happen. You can either accept it or you can whine about it. If you're an attractive woman, you're going to have people look in your direction. And be honest, if they didn't, most of you would have an existential crisis about it. And here's something to know. People look at people. I can't believe I'm having to point out the basics of human interactions as if I'm talking to a 5-year-old child. Why go to a gym if you'd prefer nobody to be there? It's such a strange thing. Women put makeup on, wear yoga pants, and go to the gym for validation. Then when the guy they don't like looks in their direction, they freak out about it. Then they film it, put it on TikTok, and try to harvest validation from that instead. It's like they're addicted. You just know that it isn't the fact that guys are looking at her that's the problem. It's a problem because the guys she doesn't find attractive are looking at her. Do you know something I find strange about this whole thing? Many of the content creators who started doing this, and they were doing it purely for content by the way, also had OnlyFans accounts. Many of them happily showed themselves getting railed in front of tens of thousands of men, but when a man glances in her direction for a second at the gym, then it's sexualization even though she happily sexualizes herself. Maybe if he paid her or subscribed to her OnlyFans, she wouldn't have had a problem with it. It's like a stripper complaining about being sexualized and completely failing to see the ridiculousness of that. And the worst part about this for me is that now every guy has to be even more careful where they look, which makes them even more antisocial in a time where loneliness is a serious problem. Eye contact is usually the first step in an interaction. Now you've got to look down at all times at a gym or you might get accused of sexual harassment and plastered all over TikTok. Gyms have become a toxic environment, and you've got feminist woke nonsense and validation-hungry influencers to blame for it. I'm not saying women don't get harassed in gyms and other public places. This unfortunately does happen. There are creepy guys and many women have genuine stories to tell about a time they ran into one. But not every unpleasant interaction requires a TikTok mob lynching and a sexual assault accusation. This trend of women falsely accusing men needs to stop. It's as simple as implementing some form of a dress code and prohibiting filming on the gym floor. These are basic boundaries that would be completely reasonable as a business owner. But feminism, like an angry child, doesn't like boundaries. That's oppressive. So gyms are too afraid to implement these kinds of rules. They don't want to piss off the woke feminazis so they let them do whatever they want. And now, they're paying a price for it. Women feeling sexualized in a gym isn't a new thing. When women are struggling, society changes. When men are struggling, society blames them for it. Collectively, women asked this to be changed decades ago. Society listened and did what society always does when women complain. They changed everything. They gave them women's only sections in gyms, which is textbook inequality and discrimination by the way. It's a classic case of, it's okay when it's for women mentality. And instead of using those women only sections, women insisted on going into unisex areas. If you don't like what you find there, there are even women's only gyms you can go to. And none for men, but I'll get to that in a moment. Society provided women with that privilege and you chose not to use it because men shouldn't sexualize me and I shouldn't have to, men should control themselves. I guess these women don't want to give up their victimhood status so easily. Who would they be without that sweet, sweet TikTok clout? They claim to be angry about receiving attention when they couldn't live without it. And the funny thing is, they are completely oblivious to the irony. And now that men are leaving gyms en masse, maybe there will be a market in the future for men's only gyms. But do you know why I know that won't happen? Because society doesn't care about men. It never has and it never will. Men built society for women just for it to be used against them later. But let's ask the question, why aren't there any men's only gyms? For the same reason, there is no men only anything. When something is men's only, it's perceived as limiting the freedoms of women, which is nonsense and people care about that. Whereas on the other hand, Women-only things aren't perceived the same way. 
it isn't considered limiting to the freedoms of men. And even if it were, nobody would care about that in the slightest. If you started a men-only anything, women would sue you because that's sexist. Even though there are countless women-only things, a friend of mine from Amsterdam told me that there are nearly 30 women-only gyms and not a single one for the men. Not to mention all the other women's-only sports activities they get. Our society was built by men to provide and protect, but now it favors the weak and the whiny the entitled and the double standard seeking people who love playing the victim. Double standards like this dominate gender politics and society. It's almost as if women tend to want to invade male-only spaces to prove a point. This is leaving men without any sense of brotherhood, which we have been deprived of so completely that we don't even know what's missing anymore. But on the other hand, men don't have the same point to prove. We don't care. If ladies want to have their own spaces, that's perfectly fine if you just leave us to do our thing in peace. We leave women to enjoy their sisterhood. It isn't the same the other way around. Men's only gyms aren't going to happen anytime soon. Building your own home gym isn't too expensive and you won't have to deal with the BS of modern gyms. All you need is a barbell, some dumbbells, a bench, and maybe a squat rack if you want to go all out. Invite your buddies to train with you in peace until gyms start valuing men again, and you won't end up on TikTok. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.